to ride every step, to have a rhythm and energy. I put on music, and that gives me a rhythm, and it gives me energy, and that's part of dressage. Rhythm and energy, if you've got rhythm and energy, you're on it already, but if you're just sitting there like a bump on a log, you're going to have a lot of problems. When I'm riding, I'm not just sitting there, I'm pushing my horse a little bit. There are times when I'll sit there and let her drop back into a snail crawl. Your knees should be bent and you should hold your toe up. People don't want to do this because when you curl your toe up, it pulls on the back of your calf and it makes this part uncomfortable. People are too lazy or the riding is not that important to them, so they don't do it and they just let their feet dangle and then they use their heel or their spur on the horse. There's a lot of controversy about spurs. Half the people look at me like, oh, he's a cruel cowboy wearing that black hat and that, those big spurs, and he thinks he's... Let me tell you something about spurs. If you're a good rider, you don't ever hardly use them on a horse, ever. You don't have to touch a horse. The fact they're there, the horse respects it. When I put a leg on her, it's like that. See, watch that. Now, here's another thing. Most people ride with their feet push down in the stirrups. That's incorrect. Your legs will get tired, your knees will hurt, your crotch will start to hurt, where your legs tie into your body, and then you're pushing yourself to the back of the seat. That's incorrect. So watch, watch me change. Boom. Keep your pockets low, keep your knees bent in a relaxed manner and your toes up. When I wanna put my leg on the horse or my spur on the horse, I don't kick. I put my ankle on, and that's all it takes. I just put my ankle bone on. Now, if my toe was relaxed, I couldn't do that. My spur would go into the mare, and she wouldn't like me. If I can get away with it, I don't ride her with spurs at all. Here's the, the kind of horses I use spurs on are the kind that get dull or lazy. 